Hi, this is John with the dual credit team at Ivy Tech coming to you today to show you how to find library resources available in the new and improved My Ivy account. So to find your student My Ivy account, go to myivy.ivytech.edu. You'll click the login now to log in. If you've already set up your account, if you know your Ivy Tech email, but you've forgotten your password, click the reset or forgot password link. If you've never set up your My Ivy account before, Click the first time here button to launch that process. You will need your student ID number, your C number, and your Ivy Tech email. If you don't know either of those pieces of information, check out the setup video link in the description below for how to find that information in dualenroll.com and set up your My Ivy account. Once you log in, My Ivy looks like this these days. It's really convenient to find the information you're looking for using the search bar up in the top left corner. So we'll type library and it'll take us into a smart search page and you can find the library icon right down here at the bottom. We recommend that you put a heart next to that. You can click this heart icon on the right hand side. And then the next time you log into your My Ivy account, it will show up in your favorite menu, which is right over on the left hand dashboard. So it's right front and center for you. You can click through to the library site. It will launch your local campus library site. So we're at the South Bend Elkhart site today. And I'll show you how to find some of the resources you might need for research papers, Etc. So we're going to start with the discover search right up at the top of the page. You could search by topic here, and it's going to do a search of most of our database information. There's an important caveat there that I will talk about in just one moment. So do a search based on your topic. The more specific your search topic, the more uh, helpful results you'll probably get. This one's pretty general. So the first thing it's going to give me is a research starter. So this is like an encyclopedia article on this topic. It's going to give me a little more information about that topic of drones and maybe help me hone my research paper down just a little bit. So you can see two different search menus. The left hand side is all the resources that are available on campus. So physical resources, books, magazine articles, uh, physical videos, things like that are all over here. So these are the things that you would come into campus to get. If you only want to see the electronic resources that are available right here at your fingertips, those are on the right hand side. And you can also click only show database results button, and that will just eliminate that left hand sidebar and let you see just those uh, resources that you can pull right here. So you can see those are all listed down here below, several that are available. My initial search topic returned over 200,000 search results. So sometimes it's helpful to use some of these limiters or expanders on the right hand side to narrow things down. Or if you didn't have enough topics, you can use the expanders to widen it up. So you can apply related words to your search, or this also gives you the opportunity to search within the full text of the articles. So right now my search gave me articles that had drone featured in the name. This would expand that to the text of the articles themselves. You can also use the limiters here below to limit it based on references that are available and also peer reviewed journals if you would like. So peer reviewed means that an expert in the field has reviewed the author's information in that publication before it ever goes to the public uh, for them to be able to review. So peer reviewed journals have a high degree of reliability. That also means if you do click that limiter, it's gonna rule out things like magazine articles, newspaper articles, current events, those type of things. So it's gonna be only scholarly works if you click that limiter. You can limit by the date that it's published, just type in a year. If you only wanna see drone articles from the last five years, you can limit it based on the date or you can limit it based on the source type. So you can see all different source types available here and then the number of resources available for each of those types. You can also narrow it down by subject. So this might help you hone your research topic a little bit more. If you wanted to research something more like drone aircraft or drones used in warfare, commercial drones, you can see all these suggested subject areas that will hone your research down a bit more. You can search by publication, content provider, et cetera. So all of those things would limit your search results. If you clicked on that, then you would see that pop up in the narrowed by category up here. So now it's one of my limiters. If I wanna get rid of that and go back to the original search results, just click that X next to the limiter and it will eliminate that for you and get you right back to where you want it. We'll click only show the database results again. That way you could see it like that. Let's check out one of the texts of the articles. So if we click on the first one here, you can see this is an ebook. It'll give you a little information about this resource. You can check that out, see if you want to explore a bit further. If you want to check it out, you can look, click the check for full access button and it will take you in to where you can actually read the resource, review what is available there. 
So you can see there's a couple different ways to review the resource. It will hyperlink you to the different chapters if you just wanna read one chapter out of the book in particular. Maybe only one of these is what you're looking for. So you only have to check out that one. Or you can download the whole resource typically by clicking the PDF full text to download a PDF version of that resource. There are a few other helpful pieces you can have over here. You can print the resource directly from here. You can email it to yourself to save it for later. Uh, or you could cite the resources, which is really helpful. If, if you are using this resource in your research paper, click that cite button and it will pop up and show you exactly how that needs to be cited based on the different styles listed over on the left. So if you're required to use AMA style, this is the citation. You could copy and paste that right into your paper, which is super helpful. You can close that out here. If you wanted to compose a list of permalinks, you can do that uh, and just link right back to this resource. You could save it that way if you prefer, but there is an easier way to save this particular resource. If you want to come back to this later in the select an action drop down, just choose add to my lists. And now this has been added to my lists and I'll show you where to find that. When you're on the main library page, up at the very top of the page, it says my lists. If you click on that, now you can see that resource is saved right there for you. It is important to note that this is a temporary list right now because I'm not actually logged into this side of the library site. I'm logged into my Ivy, but not actually the library site. So if you want this to be saved for the next time you come back in, just click that login button. It will pop up a dialog. You could put in your student C number and then your library pin. If you don't have a pin number yet, that's okay. Just click this link right here to create or reset your library pin. It will prompt you through to set up a pin number. That way you could save this resource. It'll be here for you every time. If you want to grab several, you could save them here and then come back through and read a little bit more in depth at a later time. All right, so that is the discover search. It does also let you narrow it down by author. You could search by title, subject, call number, all these different fields here. You can choose other campus resources if you'd like to search all campuses, everything. You could check out other resources as well there. So one thing that I mentioned earlier is the Start With Discover searches most of our databases, but not all of our databases. So if you click the A to Z resources on the library page, you'll see a list of all the different databases that we have available at our Ivy Tech library. So you can see there's a lot of them listed here alphabetically. One of the most important things to note on this page though is this note right here. And that tells us that anything that has this red asterisk next to it is not included in the Discover search. And you have to look at that individually. So if you scroll down here, you can see the African-American experience has an asterisk next to it. That means because of the way this particular database is formatted, it makes it difficult for our Discover to search it. So if you wanted to find something in the African-American experience database, you'll need to come in here directly and then browse by topic. This happens to be organized by year. And then you can see the different articles available within this particular resource. So take note of those, scroll through here, you could find the ones that have that asterisk next to it. And those are the ones that you'll have to come back in and see if they're relevant to your topic, if you wanna check those out and do a little bit more digging into that particular topic. There are some other really helpful resources available on the main library page. Uh, there are some guides to popular subjects that we have. So if you're in a particular subject like English 111, you could click on that and find the English 111 guide on the library site. So the main part of the page is gonna show you how to search through the different resources that are available. So it will give you another primer on using specific resources. And then at the bottom, it will have some information about the different databases, CQ Researcher, uh, Discover Search is right here. So if you need another primer on how to use Discover Search, you can come down here and get some more information about how to find the resources that you need using that. It also has some information on citing your sources over here on the left-hand side. So you can see APA format, MLA format, various resources. You can link over to the Purdue uh, AWL site and get some more resources there as well. Back on the main library page, you can also see a citing resource guide right here. So if you click through that, it will give you information about what citation means, the different formats of citation, MLA and APA. It'll show you how to cite quotes within your source, which is helpful, and also how to sort things in your works cited page. So that's a helpful resource. If you're not quite sure what the difference is between those, or you just need a refresher, you can find that information here. Anywhere on the library page, you will find over on the left-hand side, 
there's this little ask a librarian button. I'm sorry, it's over here on the right hand side. If you click on that, it'll pop open a dialog box. And this lets you ask a question of our librarians anytime and they will shoot you a reply back by email or they could schedule a time to give you a call or connect over Zoom if you need more information. So just fill in this box, let them know who you are, how to contact you and what sort of information you're looking for. Submit your question and our librarians are amazing. They will get back to you to help guide your topic. You can ask them any sort of question if you're having trouble finding a resource. They're happy to work with you. If you're having trouble finding a topic, they're happy to work with you to hone those things down so you can really do well on your assignments. So that is a brief overview of the resources available at the Ivy Tech Library. So you have those things at your fingertips and ready to go when you need them.